dun 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 I wasn't going to bang the table because I remember every time I do that, it's like the mic's yeah. like sad. Sad face. Sad face. Yep. Guys, we're it's back. wine time. Yay. Sans wine because it's, still, wine. it's still a little bit early. Um, yeah, and we're going to be on the wine tonight. Yes. Or the cider. Cider. Lychee cider. And last Yay. time we filmed two episodes of Wine Time and we're drinking throughout the both. We were pretty like we we're shit faced by the time. We by the time the we went one. out to a yeah. birthday, it's, so it's not like no. We'll no. have we'll film this one and then we'll film another one. And we have a drink then. Good idea. So all right. So what are we talking about today? We're going to talk about everyone's favorite subjects. Sponsored content on YouTube. Yeah, and like, you know, um, yeah. PR gifts and yeah. all that kind of Instagram stuff. Instagram sponsored stuff, just sponsored stuff and gifts in general. And sort of our opinion on it being uh, like YouTube viewers and also coming from a YouTube background and a blogging background. Yeah. Um, and there's a bug. Go there's away, a bug. bug. Fuck. Um, so... I think the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I think a lot of people rage about this topic um, and they often put the blame in the wrong area. Mm. Um, and so I just thought it'd be in our group the other week, there was a few people talking about um, sponsored videos that popped up with a Rimmel foundation. Um, and it's like all these videos from Australian YouTubers, whether they were small or whether they were large, they all had the similar style video that popped up on the same yeah. day and then if you went through the description box you'd see down the bottom that it actually it was actually sponsored content yeah. um and it was like reeking of advertising oh and it was so it terribly was so badly done because every single video was the same it was a it was like a get ready with me using all these new rimmel base products and then follow me follow around me this. around vlog let's see how long it lasts like it was so fucking annoying yeah um so i think because of that topic i really wanted to to discuss this because um we could actually come out and say we've never done sponsored content yeah. on beauty news um i can give you my uh experiences with my other channel and my blog um later on but we've never done sponsored content and it's actually not because we're anti-sponsored content not at all it's actually just because for various reasons as yeah. well but we'll get into we'll it get into yeah that. but we have i think a sensible opinion of sponsored content mm. and i think um it's it's worth sharing that because a lot of people are have a misconception of yeah what it means to be sponsored, um, what brands tell you to do if you're sponsored and so forth and so forth. So, yep. um, yeah, we just thought it's worth talking about. Also pointing out we were gifted candles, uh, from Circa Home. We were. Thank we you so much. We don't have to put much. them here. No. But we wanted but we to are. be like, they're cool candles. We've got uh, red diffusers and candles. Yeah. Not Beautiful. sponsored. Not sponsored. But, but gifted. I thought it was a cool, it was like kind of like ridiculous putting them in while yeah. talking about gifts and sponsored stuff. Yeah. Um, because it's just funny. Um, it so <laughs> that's Australian humor for and you. They fucking smell good. Anyway, they do. They smell lovely. Um, all right. So we thought we'll start with talking about like what is sponsored content versus what is gifted content. Yeah. Um, and there is a gray area that kind of overlaps them as well. So sponsored content at the core is content that you create in exchange for a cash money payment or product there is no it is sponsored you can be given product like i'll give you a phone yeah if you review it in the way i tell oh, you to review in the it. way yes if it's done yeah. in <laughs> yeah that's where there's overlap yeah. yeah so it's not all like a lot of people think that if it's in exchange for goods I don't need to disclose it as long as it's like I would no, get money. Yeah. But it's if you're working with a brand to their brief and you're getting a benefit yeah. from it, that's essentially what yeah. it is. So um, if generally Toy it's money. If Toyota came to us and said, we'll give you each a car if you feature it in X amount of videos yeah. over X amount of time and you say this about... <coughs> Sorry, Mikey. <laughs> and you say this about the car yep. in these videos. Yeah. That is essentially... Sponsored content. That is product in lieu of creating content... To a brief. To a brief. Yeah. Which is sponsored. Yeah. Because it's not 
100% your opinion without any outside influence, basically. Because, yeah. like, okay, and this is where it, there, there is a gray area. So, so PR gifts, um, they can be in exchange for you doing particular work for them. Um, and some brands will come to you and say, I will give you this range of lipsticks if you do this with it. And technically that's like you're receiving product in exchange for doing a particular job, which is yeah, a sponsorship. And to be honest, like I don't accept things like that because I, it feels like work. And I Mm. like, even though we put a lot of work into this channel, I don't like feeling like I've got more work to do it's like a a dark cloud hanging over your head yeah it's like a crazy obligation that you're like fuck this turns what i think is enjoyment into like work hard work yeah enjoy editing this Haley. (laughs) you're seeing all these jump cuts it's because uh we've got some really (coughs) this this is happening we've got some really weird weather do you know what i really feel i feel like a cider would fix it i'll go on that's all right we'll we'll see how we go we might pull one out soon um but the other gifting thing, which is like this, this. Um, is that, and this is the things that I sometimes accept. Sometimes yeah. you get it without even being told you're receiving it. Yeah, sometimes um, it just shows up on your doorstep. Yeah, so it's when brands actually send you something for consideration. Yeah. And what that means is you've got no obligation to do anything with it. Um, and you, if you do any content, it's 100% up to you. You don't need to uh, run it past them for approval, which often you need to do with sponsored content. And essentially, it's just like, do what you want, but if you feature it, great. Yeah. Here's a present. Like, yeah. hopefully you do something with it and hopefully you like it. Um, now, when it comes to that kind of thing, a lot of people, that can still bias someone's opinion yeah. because often people want to maintain good relationships with PR. So they will say nice things about products just to get more PR. Mm. We're not very good at doing that. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, brands. Oh, well. Brands don't yeah, I, I'm, right. I'm really shit at it. Yeah. So yeah, the main thing is either being gifted something for consideration or being given something uh, uh, like in exchange for doing a particular thing with yes. it. And that's yeah. essentially the two categories. Yeah. Um, and if you're sent something for consideration, you can literally say, this is a pile of shit. I, it's not, I really don't know this. Not. <laughs> this Mikey, this is, a Mikey is a pile of shit. <laughs> um, so you can literally say that and um, it's up to you. Yeah. Do you burn your bridges? Potentially. But once again, it's up to you. Um, when it comes to sponsored content, like we said, it's often to a brief and it's often, um, often brands will want to see it before it's published. Yes. Um, and that's where they have more influence in the final yep. result of what you do. So they're the two things. So in Australia, um, we do have laws regarding sponsored content uh, and also receiving gifts um, in return for review or promotion which is the same as sponsored content um however they're a little bit mm, it's a little bit foggy in yeah. that area um we are most likely going to probably follow the uk with their laws which are extremely strict yeah and essentially if you are posting something on instagram that is sponsored um you can't just put hashtag spawn or hashtag ad. Um, Whereas at the moment in the US and in Australia, Australia you can do that. That's basically yeah. what everyone does. Um, you have to have like hashtag sponsored or you have to simply write this is a sponsored post. Mm-hmm. Um, when it comes to videos and stuff, well, videos mostly, uh, and I believe blog posts too, actually, in the UK, you have to actually put ad in your title yeah oh you have to like verbally say it like this at the start this is a sponsored video yeah or have like a screen at the start or something because essentially in the uk before people start watching the video they need to know that it's sponsored content that it's an advertisement yeah basically whereas in australia it's a lot more lax like the us whereas as long as you disclose it in the description box yeah um it uh you know, that meets the requirements. But yep. often people don't look in the description box no, they and they don't, don't look far down to see that it's yeah. hidden somewhere there. And also 
people get cheeky and they decide that the word collaboration yeah. is passes for... it passes as a, like saying this video is sponsored and it actually doesn't it's not the two aren't mutually exclusive so if you are doing sponsored content or you're watching sponsored content and you know 100% it's sponsored content and then it says in the description box that it's collaboration or the YouTuber says it's collaboration, then they're either not aware of the laws or... But in Australia, I think that's fine. In the UK, I don't think it is. In the UK, I know but, it's not. But in Australia, I still think that's fine. And so if you do see someone saying this is a collaboration with X brand, often... People like to say that as well when it, they're working to a brief, but they're not receiving money. They're just yeah. receiving goods. They're like, I'm working with the brand. It's a collaboration with the brand, um, but it's not sponsored because I'm not getting money. Yeah. They're, they're pretty much often used the same thing. If you see yeah. a collaboration with, it means the same as I was sponsored by. They are used a lot. Yeah. Sort of interchangeably. But I do think it's misleading and I think yeah. it's bullshit and I, I'll be excited when those laws change because yeah. I feel like I feel like the laws have to be crystal clear. It mm -hmm. can't be this gray area. People need to be able to know, like, is this potentially misleading content that a brand has like told people what to say about their products? Yeah. And of course, a brand is always going to tell people to say good shit about their yeah. product. So I do think that the laws like we need to sort of catch up but it takes time so yeah i also wanted to point out that there are definitely different kinds of sponsorships and this is why we haven't delved into sponsored content firstly we're really bad we don't contact pr companies we can't yeah. be bothered but essentially um if you look at like the beauty community they have a weird type of sponsored video that mm. really annoys it's me personally. Terrible. It so is bad. The worst. It is so bad. Just picture it now. You're watching someone who you've been watching for years and they they always review hair products and suddenly they're in the shower and they're washing it out. And they've got a full face of makeup on. You're like, bitch, what the fuck's this shit? Yeah. And so, then you check the description box, you're yeah. like, It's what? So essentially it's if you look at like other kind of news channels or um, vlog channels or gaming podcast channels. or gaming yeah. or anyone, you look at Philip DeFranco, you look at all those kind of people and they often do, this video is sponsored by or brought to you today by, by blah. blah. And it's often completely unrelated to what they're talking about. It has no influence yeah. on what their actually video is creating. They can create anything they want. As long as at the start they go, okay, I'm spruiking this thing like an ad. Essentially, that's all it is. Yeah. And I'm going to then get on with my video like normal content. And that's where we would want to come in. If we're big enough to get like, oh, this was brought to you by Spotify or this yeah. was brought to you by Dad, we'd be happily do that because, hey, we've got to make money and YouTube Absolutely. doesn't pay the bills and right. it's just a thing. Like, people have to make money. YouTube takes a lot of fucking work and if people get no reward from it like not reward as in like windfall heaps of money just be able to pay your, pay bills. your bills like yeah. please so i understand why people do it um but in the beauty community it's not like that the beauty community is a brand will come to you with a brief and they will say i want you to create a video dedicated to this product and i want you to link this in it i want you to say this catchphrase and yeah. i want you to i want clips of you yeah. doing this and this with yeah. the product and i want you to talk about this and yeah Ugh. you have to create literally a full ad dedicated it's to that actually product. like a te television advertisement yes yeah. yeah. and it's fucked like not all brands come to you with really strict briefs like that no. but at the same time a lot of them do and that's what annoys me about the beauty industry and why it's so um i understand why it's got a really bad um deceitful yes. kind of opinion like people, people people's opinion of people it perceive it as deceitful and like yeah i can't trust what this person's saying because yeah. i know that's not their personality i know that's not something they would say i've been watching them for five years this is not their content correct like and it's cringy yeah and so for me that really annoys me and i find that really hard to want to create myself i don't get like no, asked many I times at all but often i'll ignore um the requests for briefs because um, it doesn't feel natural to me and I feel like it completely loses my integrity. So yeah. um, 
yeah, you can do them in like, and I just think the beauty community needs to realize that not everything needs to be a curate, curated video about a particular product exactly. for you to get the point across. Yeah. Like, so if we ever do sponsored videos, I want it to be completely unrelated to what we're actually yeah. talking about. So it, it, it doesn't influence what we're saying. What we're saying. That, yeah. Essentially. So, um, yeah, it's a bit fickle, and I think the beauty industry is the worst for sponsored content. I agree with you on that. Yeah, one hundred percent. I feel like, um, I th honestly, I think beauty brands have done themselves a disservice, and also a disservice to the online beauty community, like bloggers, like YouTubers, like Instagram accounts, in the fact that their idea of creating these online ads that are all perfect and amazing, people see right through it. Yeah. Exactly right. And, and they don't, they, they lose respect for the influencer. Yeah. It's the influencer who pays at the end of the day. Yeah. And that's, that's the sad part about it. Well, I don't actually think it's necessarily the sad part about it because, and this is where I want to talk about whether or not you can trust a YouTuber who does yeah. sponsored posts because you can. Um, it's just about what posts, like what videos what they do. What they're creating. I so agree. the sponsored I've ever, only ever done, I think, two sponsored, one blog post mm -hmm. and one video. The video was, um, it was funny because it wasn't actually, so I went, I was invited to be in this La roche Pose two-day kind of boot camp thing where they teach you about the products. Um, you get to talk to like a um, dermatologist about your skin. You can try stuff and play with stuff. And it was kind of like, okay, well, um, at the time, like I was a bit like, mind you, this was only earlier this year. Yeah. And I, I felt like I was a bit naive about the whole thing because I was like, okay, well, I'm going to be going to this thing for two days. That's two days where I can't work. Yeah. So yeah, okay, cool. They're paying me. And it was only like, not much. Like it's yeah. embarrassing. I didn't even get paid enough for like two days of work. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, they're paying for my time, which is cool, you know, whatever. And then like out of it, I needed to create a video, which the video did have a brief, but it was very open to your opinion. Essentially, the brief was um, include some of the footage that they create, that they took on the day. So it's just like footage from the event. Um, and then talk about that you can like use these products. Like at the end, you can kind of like talk about the products and how you went with them and your experience with them and your skin, like whatever, say whatever the fuck you want. Um, and then at the end, just say, look, if you want to try these products, there is a like a challenge that they're promoting. Oh, that's right. It was a 30 day. Yeah. A 30, yeah, like you 30 could, day. You could, yeah. Say, yeah. And, the Ever Cloud Duo challenge. Yeah. yeah I so they were just saying, you know, and just link it in the description box. Yeah. Um, so essentially that's the whole brief. And I was comfortable doing that because they didn't say, you have to say this, you have to say it's great, you have to do this. Yeah. And I'd been using the products for years anyway. Yeah. So I knew about them and I- It's not like, make sure you accentuate the fact that you're yeah. gonna get 12 hours wear out yeah, of it. It was nothing like yeah. that or say that it's the best moisturizer in the world. Yeah. Yeah. It was essentially them saying, we picked people that we know um, have used the products and like the products. And we're just gonna tell you about the newer products that are coming out. Yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, use the footage in the thing, like if you want, like you have to use some of it, but that yeah. was about it. And then just uh, say that there's a challenge going on. And I was cool with doing that because I'm like, okay, I could actually give my opinion of products that I've used for the past five years. Yeah. Um, and all I need to do is in the bookends kind of put some footage in and what, it, it, I was fine with it. The thing that annoyed me about it though was that it took a lot more time and effort than I thought it was going to take. Um, it was essentially probably, so I went away for two days and then also uh, I think the video probably took me a few days to do um, and it was backwards and forwards. I remember with like, you trying to download the footage. Oh, I couldn't even download the footage that they tried to upload that I had to put, you know, it was just a fucking pain in the ass. Um, and also um, they had to approve it. Um, and they didn't have any changes, which was great, but it took about, I think it took like a month for them to even provide the link that I need to put in the description box. Look, it was a nightmare. It was a thing that hung over my head for like two months. So right. it was literally probably in total a week's worth of work to create this fucking video that was like, I liked the products and look, it was an interesting learning experience, Yeah, but 
it was no. not worth the hassle and I wouldn't do it again. So that was my only video sponsored experience. Alrighty, let's do this. We're getting towards the end, so we know we can... Uh... It's for my throat. Yeah, I know. She's having a hard time. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You look like you need a drink after talking about that horrible Oh, fuck, sponsor. man. I'm not going to lie, and this is going to sound really fuck. I don't cry often. I'm not a very emotional person. Oh, I remember I came this. home and I burst into tears yeah. when Darren asked me how it went because I was re- I just found it really frustrating the whole day. Anyway, whatever. Um, I wouldn't. I like the brand and I'll yeah. keep using their stuff, but I. The that was just. It was like dance, the, monkey, dance. The pre- yeah. And I was like. The no. pressure of being yeah. on, on in for front two of days. cameras for yeah. two days, it it's exhausting. Like, even when Kat and I sit down to film, sometimes we'll sit down and film Beauty News, and you guys can see, we're not happy. Yeah, we're, like, we're, not, we're checked it's out. It's hard. It is hard to maintain, especially when you're just, like, tired. So I can respect that but you it, would But that, that event as well, like, I remember would there's, like, a mini bus, and, like, the people were great. Like, um, what's his name? The photographer? Oh, um, Ben. Ben. Ben was the photographer. Yeah. Like, Ben's great. But the thing was, like, sometimes you'd get out of the car and they'd even be filming you get out, getting out of the car and you're like... I did not look graceful. I'm like, please, just, I just go the fuck away. I just clunked out of a van. Yeah, and I remember there was a time where it was in the morning and it was quite early and they were like, oh, we're all getting coffee. It's cool. What coffee do you want? And when you're waiting, they're like, oh, while you're waiting for a coffee, why don't you pose with this sign? Like, you know, one of the things. And I'm like, can I just have my coffee? And like, they're like, I'm not even awake like, yet. No, it's your turn. And you're like, so I just found it really hard. Yeah. Like the brand events, I don't think I ever go to because I, I, yeah. I can't. I'm not on. I'm not a. I'm not an actress. I can't do it. Like I can respect taking a job like that because the brief does allow you. Yeah. Like your own. Like the brief is basic and simple, yeah. and you still get to, um, you know, give your own honest opinion. Yeah. But honestly, if it's a thing where I've got to be on for two days, yeah. like you're paying a, f- you're paying I didn't, a full. I I honestly didn't realize how <laughs> how intense on, it yeah, would be. I, and I, yeah. now that I know, yeah, I wouldn't do it unless they paid me a shitload of money, and I could yeah. be like, okay, I can take a couple of weeks off after this. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so. But also, you have to take into consideration like the the stress of it hanging over your head. Yeah, for weeks it was. While it you're was, waiting for it to be approved. Oh, shit, and, it was. Annoying. And you're like, oh, God, what if it comes back and I've got to re-edit it? And, yeah, and, know, and that's the thing. Like, I know, I know that now, and I would never do it. Mm. Like, it is weeks of, of work. Of it's work, just yeah. Anyway, but the other one that I did that I really quite enjoyed, and this is the kind of brief that I would take. They don't often come to me. Um, at all but um we've had some weird ones we'll talk about some weird yeah, stuff that have been yeah. proposed but um there was uh one that i did for um, a rosehip oil and i'd used that rosehip rosehip oil um for years and years and years yeah. so i knew i really liked it and they said okay if you use the rosehip oil every day for two weeks and then give your experience with like before and after photos we'll pay you to do a post and i was like well i know i love that stuff yeah of course and so i'm more than happy to do a post about it yeah. because I used it anyway. I got my friends onto it. I got yeah. my mum onto it. And I enjoyed it. You would have it. talked about it in videos and I had, before. And People I had, t- are gonna I had know. spoken about exactly. it in posts that's previously. Like, that's like someone coming to me and saying, Hayley, we want you to do, uh, we want you to drink Moscato in an episode of Wine Time. We'll pay you $500 each. Of course of we're course gonna we'll do it. Of course we'll do that because we of do that course. anyway. Yeah. And that's, and, that, and that's the thing. Like, I think what it comes down to is um, a lot of people have an opinion that sponsored stuff is um ingenu like ingenuous mm. is that the word disingenuous disingenuous yeah um and the thing is it's not it's just that it comes down to the creator that I, accepts yep. the brief i agree um like i could have said like if they said you have to say this and you have to say that if i said i'm not going to do that but instead i'm more than happy to give you my honest opinion yep. um and if they say cool yeah do that as well you can actually negotiate with this kind of stuff yeah you can or you can reject briefs that are just that don't work Work. um and the problem is that a lot of people because youtube doesn't make much money um they They will take anything and everything and that's where people look like sellouts because they are all of a sudden doing things that don't seem natural and they wouldn't do anyway yeah whereas if people actually like for example if say two-faced came to me and said i will pay you to do a look um and using our glitter glue i'd be like fucking love yes. your glitter glue love your glitter glue. i would do that anyway so bring and it then on if they came and said we want you to do a look and tell people you love the drop dead red 
matte liquid lipstick, I'd be like, bye. No. I can't do that. I will do that with lady knows balls. I hate it. I'll yeah, do, I'll it, do with it with lady, lady balls. balls. So yeah, it's it's more about if you can trust the creator that yeah. you are watching. And a lot of the and I think often this shows like how people deal with sponsored content. Yes. If you can trust them or not. Yeah. Um but yeah, you haven't seen any sponsored content on Beauty News. No. Um but uh, our last video was not sponsored. Yeah. We were sent the items and we ha- wanted to create content with it. Yeah. What do we do on this this yeah. whole channel with beauty news yeah makeup breakup beauty breakdown yeah of course we're gonna do it with the yeah. lush stuff so the funny thing about that was someone actually accused us i don't know if it was that or the benefit one whatever mm. someone's someone actually accused us or a few people have that of doing like this is a sponsored video and the thing is it's not sponsored with the lush one the funny thing about that was lush didn't even know that beauty news exists no. right they sent us both an email um for our own channels. They sent you an oh, email. Oh, they sent me one. Yeah, they sent Kat an email and because she I'd, said... Because I'd featured their stuff before yeah. and I'd done stuff on Instagram for them, um, not sponsored, um, <laughs> just because, you know, that's what yeah. Lush do. And I'd been to Lush um, PR events. I think the first PR event I ever went to was a Lush one. Oh, so, wow. yeah, it was yeah. like four years ago. And yeah, so like they do like to promote their seasonal products yeah, by they um, do. sending them to people and to so, put on Instagram so and whatnot. They, should. they have great holiday collections. Yeah. Uh, so I think they emailed me and then I said yeah. that we can feature or send us the information and we can talk about it on Beauty News. On Beauty News. And yeah. they were like, they checked out the media yeah. kit, they saw the stats, they went, of course, and also we'll send you both a package each. Yeah. So we both received a package. Yeah. And Kat was like, holy moly, I've got too much bath stuff. And I don't take baths. Exactly. Like, I take showers. I hate yeah. having a bath. If you actually saw my bath, you'll know that's where we store our mop because I don't like having baths. <laughs> so, it's true. It's hilarious. It's true. So, we yeah. thought, let's, and look, we've both watched um, lush, like, bath bomb videos. In action videos. And I love them. And we think they're fascinating. We think one of the best parts of that's using, my favorite part about exactly. using the bath bomb is watching it watching do its thing. Watching it do its thing in, in yeah. the water. And we thought, well, it's fitting for our channel yeah. because that's the type of content we create. And it doesn't have to be sponsored, though. Yeah. Just because we loved creating it. And, and we, we had were, a lot of fun. And we loved everything in the video doesn't mean it was sponsored. It just means that generally we, we like Lush. We actually love Lush. And we have historically. And the great thing yeah. about that video, and this takes a lot of pressure off us, is that normally we're the ones that are forking out $90 for a palette to destroy, forking out this or that or whatever. Yeah. And it costs a lot of money. And um, we're actually often not operating at any profit. No. So having this stuff that we featured on Instagram and we did the initial thing, we talked about in Beauty News, that which is what we wanted to do, and they said, yeah, sure, we'll send you stuff. Um, they didn't know we would, like, we actually ran it past them going, we're going to do this video. Hope uh, you, you don't okay mind. Yeah. Because, like, a lot of people see that the makeup breakup and this kind of stuff as being a disrespectful thing. It's not. Like, we no. totally love makeup. And so we're just like, they're like, yeah, that's fine. Do whatever you want. Like, your stuff, do whatever. And we're like, okay, cool. So, um, yeah, it had nothing to do with sponsors. It was no. just, we were lucky that we were given stuff for free yes, so we that were. whatever income we made on it was actually it was income, profit. which yeah. is, doesn't happen often. No. So, um, yeah, there's a big difference. And while we're talking about profit and income and stuff, can I just say, I don't want this to come, like this video to come across as shaming any influencers because this is a really hard industry and we don't make a lot of money. So yeah. if you decide to take sponsored content and you feel that it does work for your channel and you're comfortable with it and you're fine. like I actually you do you boo seriously yeah. you got I actually it, like, know people you... that don't do videos unless they're sponsored yeah so know, uh, there's I, a big there's yeah. a big difference yeah and it's just about like do you like watching their stuff do you find it entertaining yeah um you know do you for some reason do you trust them even yeah. though it is all sponsored it's up to you but yeah. essentially what it comes down to is sometimes brands do things badly, like the Rimmel one that we're talking about yeah, recently. Yeah, that was really... I just feel like that was really badly planned out, and it surprised me that Rimmel would do that. Yeah. Because it just felt so forced. Yeah, having a brief... Like, if you just gave it to a couple of people, mm. maybe, but there was, like, a good half they dozen... They all popped up on the same day, too. All popped up on the same day. They're all the same brief. Um, and it... A... It... 
it's kind of like shitting on the influencers as well because That's if you're how setting, I felt. Yeah, I felt like it was almost like setting them up like, to look like dickheads. Thank you. That's exactly how I felt. I felt like Okay, these influencers probably aren't going to be like, oh, how many other influencers are doing the they same don't know, video on the but same they, day? They won't they even be not. told. They won't be told, not. oh, there's 17 other ones that are doing the same thing as you, so huh, lol, you're going to look like an idiot. That's not, that's not told just to the people. upload this video to this brief on this day, yeah. and all of a sudden you've got this group of bl- vloggers Australia-wide who... That look like sellouts. And... Yeah, the brand At the end of over. the day, who takes the damage there the influencers mm-hmm. do in that particular case yeah. and it's not always a case sometimes it's it falls back on the brand or the influencer but this just made the influencers look terrible yeah it did and i honestly i feel bad for them because it makes their integrity and look like that they don't yeah. have it it's yeah it's like it's not there yeah, and, and look, that it might not be there. Well, it might not. I don't know them all personally, <laughs> yeah, so but, I can't but, you know, say for sure. But, but it but does set them up to fail. Exactly, and I feel like that's unfair. Yeah, I agree. If they had contacted the, if Rimmel had contacted them and said, "Look, we've got this new foundation, and we want you to create a video that sort of encapsulates how well it lasts throughout a busy day," you know, can you? Are you interested? People might be like, well, yeah, I'll wear it to the gym because, you know, I'm glam as fuck and I go to the gym all the time and Mm. I do wear makeup there. And if their influencers or if their followers are known for that, then, or if their followers know that they're known for that, then it doesn't feel out of place. Yeah. So, you know, I just. But when it feels like an infomercial, like if if Rimmel came to me and they said, "Um, I know you do foundation wear tests, just I'll pay you to just. Wear it until it literally breaks down. Yeah. And or, 18 hours later, you're like, I'm still awake and it's still holding on. Like, no, but if I, like, I do foundation wear tests on my channel where I'll show you applying it and yeah. then I'll check in throughout the day and I'll let you know how it lasts on my oily skin. If they said, look, I like what you do. Do one. Just do one. No brief. Just feature it. I'll pay you a couple hundred bucks. I'd be like, look, that means I can pay my electricity bill. Sure. And it's something that I'd probably do anyway. So it's just about... And also, people would trust you. Because yeah. one, you're known for doing foundation wear tests. And two, you're not... like It's, it's not like your a, opinion. Yeah, yeah, it's not like a... So you can do them well. It's just that a lot of brands, and this it's mainly beauty brands approach people in the wrong way yep. they're like i want this person to create an ad for me yeah and they're stuck in like yeah. the 90s and the early 2000s and even earlier than that yeah of the beauty advertising world yeah i agree like brands okay you've caught up to the fact that there are online influencers and they have some massive pull but you also need to catch up to the fact that you're fucking advertising. It needs to change. Yeah. It needs to adapt because it's. Yeah. But also no. brands need to um, be able to take feedback and yeah. criticism. I agree. Um, and also they need to do their research with their influencers. Yeah. Find an influencer who is going to fit your product. Yeah. And they, but it's, they don't, they're they too don't. lazy. They're too they fucking are too lazy. lazy. Yeah. And actually sometimes when a brand contacts me and they're like, look, we've been watching your videos and we saw you did blah, blah, blah. And it works with like our product, which is blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know what? I don't have time to review this, but send it to me and I will somehow find a way to incorporate it into something because you paid attention yeah, and you're not asking for something absurd. Yeah. When they send you an email and it's like, they get your name wrong. um, And then they're like, Oh, I've noticed that your channel is perfect for my my fitness tea you're like have you watched my fucking channel my diet tea mate you're wrong is you're that, like is that diet mascara tea yeah <laughs> fuck is that chocolate like <laughs> yeah. please is that cheese on the side <laughs> yeah um Send me yeah cheese. so i think it just you know comes down to brands being able to like see people like see what the great thing about youtube and bloggers are it's like yeah. normal people giving reviews and honest reviews and realizing that that is often more influential than um just a glossy ad yeah so giving the influencers space to breathe and a lot of them do yeah, and a lot of them yeah. don't no actually and i do think it's important to 
emphasize that many brands are uh, actually yeah. really good at working with the influencers yeah. and a lot of the time sponsored content doesn't feel forced and it doesn't feel fake and yep. like infomercially and like here let me shove this down your throat it feels natural yeah and sometimes i'll be like watching a video and i'll be like halfway through it or almost at the end i'm like oh wait Mm -hmm. Oh, this is an ad. Mm. Oh, I didn't realize. Or yeah. I have to like actually check the description box. And I think that is the right type of content because it feels natural. I agree. But I also think that it falls on influencers' shoulders. Like there are a lot of them that are quite thirsty for work. I, um, yeah. And they are the ones that will bend over backwards and go yeah. out of their way to kiss ass. Yeah. And we know a lot of those too. Yeah. And you kind of go, that's a fucking lie. You are yeah. fucking lying. Yeah. Um, and... You know, if, and, and if, but if, if if more people had integrity and were like, yeah. no, I'm not yeah. doing that, yeah, then brands would kind of get on board with being like, I need to give a little. They need to, you know, it's we really, can work together. It's really hard to discern who you can trust and who you can't, because sometimes you don't know. Yeah, it's hard. What you you just don't know. But that's where I think if you can, if you can, something smells a bit fishy, yeah, bail it, on that influencer because yeah, then they're I, fucking I lying agree. to you. If you don't feel comfortable with what that influencer is saying, they are not the right influencer for you. Yeah, I feel like you've got a good influencer when you feel like you've made a friend type connection yeah. with them. When watching them genuinely entertains you, you laugh at their stupid jokes or yeah. you laugh at the faces they make, and it feels natural and real. Yeah. I, I agree, but also, like, you know that if they are doing their job, which is creating content, but also managing to work in sponsored content in a really organic, natural mm -hmm. way that isn't leading you astray, yeah. um, stick with them. Yeah, because, I agree. Because um, it's a very hard thing to do. They're turning down a lot of paid work to be able to maintain their integrity, and it's fucking rare and it's it's just the industry mm. in general is re just really fucking hard but it is i think the people that have the, those blinkers on they're like sponsored they're sellouts they're fucked if they don't have like a like there's know. a few channels that are like no sponsored content yeah and like we don't advertise that we have no sponsored content but you know it doesn't mean that we, we aren't open to it, it in the future yeah. it's and just we that are we're open to yeah, it yeah just we're very we're very we, strict yeah. with what we would say yes to we have to be realistic in the fact that when it comes down to what we earn mm. through YouTube, it's split two ways. Yeah. Which means what we earn is not, it's not like I get paid enough money to pay all my bills. It's we get paid enough money to maybe pay one person's bills. Yeah. And then we've got to split it down the middle and suddenly no one's paying their bills. Yeah. So we have to be very realistic about the fact that you know, we need to change something to maintain to, it. Exactly. And, and like, that's what people don't realize. Like they go, oh, YouTube's just a hobby. You just sit in front of a camera. Yeah, no, nah, it's not that no, fucking easy. It is not. It is no. Yeah. And no. E even at our peak of, um, you know, a good month for us. And, like, we're not a small channel these days. Like, we're not a big channel, but we're not no. a small channel. Um, I... I look back at what I was earning on some basic full-time wage, and I can tell you, I currently earn per month a quarter of that. Yeah, I, I don't pay my bills. I think it might be worth saying now, like YouTubers get paid monthly. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's shit. No quarter. I agree. I get paid I'm, a quarter of what I was. Yeah. Like I work more hours. Like I still work a part-time job, but I work more hours on YouTube than I did when I was working full time. Yeah. Um, and I get paid a quarter of what I was earning when I was working full time. So it is a struggle and it's a yeah. fucking hard grind. And I'm not like saying it to be like a sob story. No, no. But, um, but I understand why people have to take exactly. sponsorships. It's a reality yeah. and it's extremely relevant. And I've seen also people that have talked about um, hard times where they might have been on a single income and they focus mainly on YouTube and they had to take really shitty sponsored posts or sponsored videos that because they, they normally to wouldn't want to do, but because otherwise they would be kicked out of their house. And you kind of go, look, you got to realize it's, it's not just like my personal channel doesn't make any money and it is just me sitting around chatting and doing whatever I want yeah. to do. But when it comes to like a bigger channel where you've got schedules and it takes a lot of time to edit and all this kind of stuff, yeah. um, you can't, you know, it, you can't just, 
dismiss people for taking sponsored no. content. No, you, you literally can't. need to make you need to have like tens of millions of views a month to be able to earn or like really good money, a, a decent money, yeah, decent money, and even put away any form of savings. exactly like yeah. if if Kat and I were realistically going to like earn enough money each and like pay our bills and put money away for savings, yeah. we're gonna need like. At least double of what we're getting. 10 views. million views a month. Yeah. We'd be living quite well. Yeah. Paying all the bills. Yeah. You've got two mortgages. Yeah. I've got a mother who's extremely unwell. Yeah. And like, realistically, if we're paying all the bills and we're not eating two minute noodles, mm. plus putting away what you would probably put away on a full time wage mm. in savings. Yeah. Like I can tell you, like I'm, I've got savings to last me the next six months worth of bills. Cause I've kind of been like preparing for that. Yep. Um, but in six months time, if we aren't earning enough money, either via sponsorships, AdSense or sponsorships <laughs> um, we're going to have to cut down the videos and I'm going to have to pick yeah. up more work because it's just it's just not sustainable and it's like it's hard because you provide free content to it people is. and people throw it in your face and they're saying you you expect so much and you you, 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 you are a sellout and you kind of go fuck man you you are clueless yeah and like you know i think i think the like the big thing here if you are watching someone sponsored content and you're like i don't like this and you're a sellout and I can't believe you, and I'm unsubscribing. Like, do it quietly, all right? Yeah, because they go. they need to pay their bills, just and go. they they're doing it yeah. for a reason. They're not doing it just to be a greedy asshole. Go and go and verbalize to someone who's not going to feel that pain or, and that shame. How about like just go? Look, I expect to be paid when I go to work. Yeah. So and I, I kind of want them to get paid for the work they do. Yeah. So, and I don't want the grumpy drunk coming in and yelling at yeah. me because I've got a job. Yeah. Exactly right. And I work really hard to yeah. pay my bills. It's yeah. exactly right. But also, I, I think, um, like, what it comes down to as well is that a lot of people, like, they, they look at YouTubers and they're like, I, I'm entitled to free entertainment. But, oh, yeah. But I need in, to get a real job. Yeah. But if you don't like the sponsored content from a lot of people and you can kind of see that something is sponsored, how about not watch that video and just I watch agree. the other videos? Because, you, you know... It is, it is a reality and it's, yeah, it's a shame that people, like, I'm, I'm not, it's funny because I'm not trying to stand up for the people who are a complete sellout. There no, are those no. people out there, yeah. but at the same time, I know how hard YouTube is yeah. and I know that people need to survive. I think the funny thing for us is we are, we see both sides. Yeah. We have been the people who watch the YouTubers mm -hmm. and we still are, we still mm -hmm. watch them and we love them. Um, and we're also at this point where YouTube is a full-time job for us, but we are fucking struggling to make ends meet. It's a full-time commitment and it's a part-time wage. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. So we are literally like, we've got one foot on either side of the fence and we're just like, I feel you, buddy. You're struggling. Fucking, I feel you down there. You don't want to watch the sponsored content that feels yeah. fake. Like, I get it. We we see it. We feel it. We understand it. And there's, the, there's no... But there is a happy middle ground. There is. But that comes down to if you're, the YouTuber you're watching has integrity. And, and if you the don't, brand is willing to... Let them... Have freedom. Ha yeah. And yeah. If, that, if that doesn't... And that's, if we can, if we can find that and we can get a nice mesh, which is yeah. very rare... We would do sponsored content, but yeah. we haven't found that. We which need is to why... do more wine times and get them really popular. So people just send us alcohol I know. and pay yeah. us to like, by the way, guys, have you ever had lychee, lychee, gold. lychee cider it's by good. lychee gold, lychee gold premium eight made in Australia. I'm proud because it's delicious. It's delicious. Um, we purchased this ourselves. We did. Uh, not sponsored. Not sponsored. Um, I also want one thing because people are going, whenever we mention um, YouTube and time it takes and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. People get... People always say, um, you should start a Patreon. You should mm. start a Patreon. Now, we don't want to start a no. Patreon. Um, there is something that's coming up. It's on um, gaming channels 
uh, on YouTube at the moment. Like yep. it's available for them. It's not available for the rest of YouTube until I think early 2018. I think so. Um, yeah. But it's like you can sponsor a channel, and yep. essentially you pay. I think it's five or six dollars a month, um, and that goes to the creators. The, yes. So it's almost like a Patreon, but it's through YouTube. Yeah, and um, Patreon isn't taking a nice big chunk, and you don't have to like set up crazy yeah. weird stuff. But yeah, and and then also you get certain perks through yeah. YouTube. Um, to be a sponsor, but yeah. we might open that up in the new year. But essentially what it comes down to is we don't want to create a Patreon and spook, spook Patreon because we know how shit that kind of comes across. Yeah. Um, do we want people to donate? Sure. If you want to it donate, really, feel... it really helps us. Like yeah. Sometimes we do live chats and some, fuck man, we had one. I can't remember what we were doing. I think we we're actually with, Simon. Simon and they were just flowing in and after like, that oh I I kind of sat there and I was like holy shit yeah that's by the way we pay a small bill each this yeah. month yeah so it like it was so great and it's really helpful but also like we look at it in the sense that one if we have a patreon account patreon take a chunk of it that's not even my concern though my concern is the perception of us asking for like, money crying for money when we're destroying a 90 dollar exactly. huda beauty palette and sometimes in those videos i'm wearing a platinum yeah. diamond ring like, which by the way was actually a gift i'm just gonna put that she's out a there fucking lucky girl oh no but no, no it was mum. yeah it, of well <laughs> you're still a lucky girl yes. um where's my platinum i know um, <laughs> One but day, girl. One day. One day. I'll buy it'll myself. Be, it'll platinum. be our gift. Um, no, but essentially, it comes down to um, we don't feel comfortable asking for donations and spruiking a website where we're gathering donations. Yeah. Um, when we don't feel like we can add any extra value to that at the moment. Yeah. Um, and also, with what we do and with what the beauty community does, um, essentially, it is not like we do research our videos and we put a lot of time into our videos. But it's not like you're paying for education or something. No. You're paying yeah. for someone to buy pretty things that just the person it. that's watching might not be able to afford. Yeah. And we never want to ask or cry poor um, to people. We even, like, people sometimes say, oh, I'll send you a, like, we do get gifts sent yeah, to us. Yeah, we do. But Which when we people, appreciate we really, greatly. we do appreciate. Yeah, we do. But when people actually ask us, what do you want me to send? I always say, you buy you something, yeah. don't worry about us. Yeah. Because, um, like, we, we always open mail in videos because we want to show that we respect the people yes. and we appreciate. and we appreciate and we that they have taken the time Absolutely. to send us something. And honestly, if you're watching this and you're like, sometimes I wish I could send those girls a package, if you can afford a postage stamp, send us a letter. Yeah. Like, just send us a letter. Send us a cute letter. Yeah. Um, you can totally do it. You can send it to the P.O. box. I don't know what an international stamp costs, but I know it's not And I can much. tell you the letters we appreciate and artwork. Like, we appreciate those things yeah, the most. Yeah, we really do. Um, it's and, so sweet. Yeah. And if you do want to contribute to the channel at all, like, we do – if you if we do live chats and you see a live chat, yeah. you can do, like, a super chat where you just donate a bit of money or something. Yeah. Like, we're not – once again, I don't like asking I for know, donations. It, it feels funny, doesn't because it? Because what we do is so um, superficial. Yes, that I don't want to be like. It. You need to pay. I'm, yeah. I'm concerned about you buying yeah. yourself a present. I that's agree. what I want. That's what I want you to do with your money. You worry about you. We worry about us. You know the saying: we just charity can... starts in the home. Make yeah. sure you're okay first. Yeah, we do our best to take care of us. We're getting there. We're, we're, we're surviving. We're not yeah. dead. We're not. We can buy our lychee cider. Don't cider. worry about us. Yeah. But, like, I just want people not to judge YouTubers so harshly yeah. on taking sponsored posts and just automatically thinking they've done a sponsored post. I can't trust them. Yeah. It's not I the agree. case. Um, often you can find that happy marriage between a brand yeah. and a YouTuber and you can create content that is genuine, but they also get to pay their bills that month perfect yeah like if you smell something that's a bit fishy and you're like i don't think i can trust this person well if you think it's an isolated incident don't watch the video yep. if you think it's a consistent theme unsubscribe or if you just like them for entertainment 
watch them for entertainment and yeah. don't watch them to be like, I'm going to buy this thing because they yeah. said they're going to recommend it. And um, if you're rage watching someone, you're doing... Yeah, like, you're, you're an idiot. Seriously. You've but got thanks props. for the views. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Thing. <laughs> but yeah, I just... Yeah, we wanted to talk about this because yeah. it's a heavily discussed thing. It is. Um, people hate it. People I think it's don't mind bit, it. It's, it's a funny one. It's a controversial topic. And I think... You, People are on like two sides of the fence. They have an opinion as a viewer, lightship burp, <laughs> and an opinion as a content creator who may be struggling and they're like, I must do this. I don't have a choice. So I think it's important to have empathy. Yes, have empathy, respect other people, and try and like put yourself in someone else's shoes just for a minute before you attack them yeah. in their comments section yeah. because like it's it's hard it's hard when you work really really hard to create content sometimes for money to yeah. fucking survive or to entertain the people who you genuinely love because you do you build this bond with yeah. your subscribers and before you get in the comment section and do one of these where you're fucking frothing at the mouth like a rabid dog yeah just Take a take a breather and think Step about away. other people's situations yeah. other than just your own. And yeah. at the end of the day, you are not paying for this. It is free entertainment. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. If you and don't if want you to support have someone, read, you yeah. are paying, but you're not watching those damn ads. Yeah. So cruisy. Yeah. You know. Um, YouTube Red's actually pretty good. Um, it's pretty good. Yeah. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. But um, yeah, so it's just about being more mindful of the whole situation. Mm. We're still on the fence. Uh, I was going to say one thing that we, we've had a few offers. We don't get many offers. Oh yeah. Let's talk about this real quick. Yeah. Yeah. We've had a few offers that are like, they just don't, like yeah. we're happy. Yeah. We're we happy to discuss things with people potentially, but if things just don't fit, we're happy to say we either don't reply. Oh, we don't. Yeah, we're most really of the shit. time we don't reply. Yeah, yeah. There was one recently where um, the PR for a hotel company actually, uh, they they it's PR for travel related brands, and they contacted us and they were like, "Hey, come and check out the hotel." And we've seen you've done like vlogs where you yeah. show around the hotels because we'll that's just what we like yeah. to do. We'll put you up for a few days. Um, it was in Brisbane. It's in Brisbane. Never been. They I'm were like. like uh, we'll find some free of charge like activities for you to do outside of the hotel, and we do have a budget, so we don't expect this to be a free to thing. be a free yeah thing. And from there, they didn't give us a brief, but they yeah. gave us an idea of what they were looking for in a video. And this hotel is actually like they've got some cool shit going on in terms of beauty yeah so it kind of it makes like, sense it kind of works right and i was thinking all right we could do a straight up hardcore like full on feature the beauty shit about this hotel that's what they suggested it's gonna feel a bit forced yeah because they suggested do a video getting ready in the hotel yep. and talking about all the features, features. and and the problem with that is when have we done a get We've, ready yeah it's not something we, did, we do like we did a get ready no we did a testing the um the slips the pamphlets yeah. in pallets but that was We've done it ages ago that was years early last ago. Year. exactly we did get ready with me halloween yeah like it's not it's not a common thing we it do it doesn't fit and we were like it's gonna sound like an ad and yeah. we're not comfortable with that yeah what we came back to them with which they never responded to no, was we're more than happy to come up because yeah. you know would love to come up. Um, we're more than happy to film a Beauty News episode in there. Talk about the hotel. Just be like, we're in this cool hotel. It's got X, Y, Z. Yeah. They're beauty related features. Yeah. But, you know, if you're here, check yeah. it out. Um, but also we're happy to um, talk about it in a vlog as well. Yeah. Because like, we're going to vlog the experience anyway. We are known for doing. Yeah. Every time we travel outside of Melbourne and we stay in a hotel, first thing we do is like a walkthrough. Yeah of the place that we're staying and we're like look at this thing yeah it's got cool. this so we did so, offer that and they didn't get back to us no. which is fine like i would love to go to brisbane and even like organize a meetup and be like yeah. this is a cool excuse to get away to go, yeah um but essentially it's got to be also on our terms and yeah. if we're not comfortable creating the content it's you guys are going to notice like yeah and we're not comfortable putting it up what are some other sponsors 
Oh, we get a lot of like <laughs> random like wear this bikini fucking. Maybe we should take some of them. How would you guys feel about me wearing a bikini in Beauty News with my tits eating my... Oh, yeah. People hate that. <laughs> if you get that reference. People rage. If you get that reference. Your tits yeah. are eating your necklace. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. If you get that reference, you've been around for a long time. Or you and read we the comments. You. Or, yeah. 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 Anyway. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, this has been going on for a while, so we best jet off. Because yeah. we'd like to film another one before we get too drunk. It's true. It's a thing. Um, feel free to leave your opinions. Respectfully yeah. leave your opinions yeah. in the comments section. Remember that we all live different lifestyles and And you don't always know everything that's happening with people's lives as well. Exactly. Like what you see superficially isn't it's not always what's, always behind what's the scenes. going on. Exactly. Um, so a lot of people just yeah, a lot of people should be mindful of that. Yeah. I agree. Fucking cheers to that, my friend. Cheers. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you're excited that Wine Time is back. And yeah. we are going to film another one right now for your viewing pleasure in the future. See ya. Bye.